Hey guys, welcome to another keto camping trip. Starting my day off with black coffee and a couple drops of my vanilla liquid stevia. Doing another camping, but not just any camping. We're doing van camping, so even more extravagant than last camping trip. See you when we start packing things up. are getting ready to head out soon we are packing up all our stuff we are taking our half done camper van so we got a lot of room to take really delicious keto food we got all this food and not all keto obviously because my boyfriend is not keto we got this whole bin we don't have to carry anything on our backs and we have a refrigerator packed full of delicious keto meals about ready to head out it is sunny, but it is not warm. It's about 36 degrees right now. It's supposed to only get up to maybe 50 today, but tomorrow is supposed to be like 70. So we're going to have a nice day at camp tomorrow. This is our camper van. Welcome to the keto camper van. I've been working on this the last two years. Two years now. It's getting there. We just got to do some finishing work. Cool. There, there ain't much more to install. We have a heater. We got lights. Our refrigerator, we got our Yeti power station that powers all our stuff, light switches, we got our max air fan so I can cook in here, and we have exhaust, bed, it's very comfy, bed is built from a TV ramp, we got our curtain now to hold in some more heat, lots of storage space, so we're just going to finish packing up, forgot to mention we will be drinking our super coffees on the way. Let's head out. We have arrived. Time to get out and get set up. So we just parked and before we set up we're gonna take a little stroll in the woods. Probably take some trail mix with us. This time I got a little fancier and roasted some pecans, macadamia nuts, and almonds with some sea salt in the oven which is a little avocado oil spray. Then we got pumpkin seeds and a bunch of Lily's different chocolate chips in there. A nice little snack for the trail. It's about 40 degrees. So hopefully this hike will warm us up a little bit and then we'll come back and have lunch. We got two options, left or right. We choose right. Trail. It's probably back to camp, right? Spring is in bloom right on the side of the road. Pretty little flower patch. We think we're going in the right direction. Baby maples. Baby maples. We see where we're camping. <laughs> I don't know. That was a very short loop. We did like four rights and back to where we were. <laughs> Just about set up here. We got a trash bag, of course. Anything you bring in, you take out. I am setting up the butane stove. Of course, it wouldn't be camping if we didn't forget something. And we forgot plates, so I made tin foil plates. Heating up the skillet, we got some dry aged burger patties. I'm using, I sacrificed half a biscuit to make a bottom bun for my burger. We're having hot dogs too, so he's just gonna cut his and use a hot dog bun. Got my avocado oil oh, mayo, lather that all in the biscuit. Probably better if I grilled that up a little bit. Salt and pepper dot burgers. Quarter of an avocado that's of course brown because you know you can't keep them green for long but they're still fine they just don't look as good. But and that on my burger. Healthy fats in. So I got my bun all ready for a burger. Slap these guys on. And we got some crappy processed American cheese. Thank our, our granny and grampy for this yeah. butane stove. That we've never used camping before, even though it's for camping. <laughs> they won it at the casino. My, gr my grandpa's like, fat burgers. Yeah, they gave me another one of these yummy <laughs> butane stoves. You can have this one. It works great for my videos, though. Thanks, Grandpa. Be back when we uh, get these fried up. Probably gonna take a while because they are thick. <laughs> Burgers are just about done. Having a little Zevia, my favorite soda. Let me say pop here in Buffalo. Burgers oh, are good to go. Oh, yeah. Put, a, put that one half in there. That's what I was thinking. 
Oh, oh nice. Upside G down. Upside down. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> nice. But I, I put some pickle right lettuce. Now. Big fat burger on top. This is not going to be easy to eat. <laughs> I need my okay, fork. Okay. Ooh. Oh, no. It's juicy. Looks delicious. I get some of my biscuit. Oh, my ear. Oh. Oh. Yeah, a bunch of burger. Mm -hmm. Definitely tastes dry aged. Can you taste it? Yes. It's like more funky. It's definitely juicy. I will link my biscuit recipe down there. Wait until you see what we have in the morning for breakfast. Epic biscuit breakfast. Be back when uh, we eat another snack. <laughs> Gonna search through our bag of goodies and toilet paper for a little sweet treat. I tried the new um, Perfect Keto cookies. I got a keto crate. They were okay. Not my favorite though. So I got a monk pack or a keto cup. Or a ratio. I brought my homemade fat bombs too, but I'm just going to have one of these. They are pretty good. They're okay ingredients. They're better than the Atkins. Natural flavors and inulin. But they're pretty far down on the list. And stevia. So I'm going to eat one of those. And then we're going to do some camp chores. Got to gather some firewood. But. And wood. <laughs> Gonna have me a zip fizz. Can I do it? Yeah. Black cherry, my favorite. If you haven't noticed, I had a black cherry zevia earlier. Mm, yummy. Enjoying what little sun we have left. We just got done taking a little nap. Now <laughs> it's time to cook some dinner. So, we got our refrigerator. Gotta unload some stuff. Snowmaster. We need lettuce. He needs his tortilla shells. Mmm, smells like tacos in here. We got lots of meat. Marinade, some chicken. The recipe will actually be below because I measured. What else do we need? Sour cream. Those are all my fat bombs. <laughs> cheese and an avocado oh, gotta close it gotta close it beep beep that means it's been open too long so i'm gonna put mine on i brought pork rinds and some quest tortilla chips i'm not sure what i'm gonna do i might do half and half make like a salad kind of thing with my chicken avocado salsa sour cream and cheese sounds good to me Sounds good to me too. Yeah, he's gonna have his in a in a carby wrap though. So we're gonna get a fire going and get the cooking. Okay, I'm all set up. Hopefully, Adam has built fire, so we'll be able to sit by the fire and eat dinner. Maybe I don't know. Probably not because we have tin foil plates. <laughs> but it is what it is. I'm gonna put some oil in here. So I marinated this yesterday or the day before, but I make my own taco seasoning because my favorite is McCormick. I've had it like growing up. That's all we ever had and it was my favorite, but there is sugar in it, unfortunately. <clears throat> so I try to recreate it as best I can. I follow the taco recipe loosely. I got the ingredients. I add Cajun to mine. A lot of chicken. I already cut it up into little strips and I just put about a quarter cup of avocado oil in the seasoning. Coat the chicken real good. Keep an eye on that while I get my nachos together. If you haven't tried, I don't like pork rinds by themselves, like just to eat, but loaded with a bunch of meat and cheese and lettuce and sour cream. Delicious. And these are like not even a buck or something at Walmart. They're super cheap. Shouldn't take long to cook up because it's cut real thin. This is two pounds of chicken breast. You can also use chicken thighs. I just think something where it's quick cooking, chicken breasts are good because if it's something that's slow cooked, like a curry or something that you're cooking in a sauce or some Asian food, they tend to dry out if you use chicken breast. And it's almost done. I'll do a little bit of these too. I usually pick out the big chips load and then I keep the small ones to, for salads and stuff. 
Now normally I don't usually marinate tacos. I'll just make that spice up, add it to the chicken after it's cooked, and then add some water and simmer it for like five minutes with the spices. But because we were going camping, I wanted to get it all together and less mess. Make sure it tastes good. Mm-hmm, that's good. And I'm gonna put some cheese down on my chips first, because that'll melt and you can put the chicken on top. Can cut an avocado with a butter knife. Sour cream. Got all the accoutrements. Put on top. Chicken on top. My pork rinds. Cheese, chicken, sour cream, lettuce, avocado. And then the salsa I use is just Great Value brand. There is some sugar in it, but I think it's like two carbs for two tablespoons or something like that. It's that garlic lime. It's like my favorite one. Got to get perfect first bite here. Mm-hmm. Mm. That is delicious. Of course messy, but all nachos are messy, I feel. I feel like if they're not messy, then they're not very good nachos. <laughs> Loaded nachos in the woods. Keto fied. I mean, back for what I'm sure we'll have dessert at some point. Mm -hmm. Time for some fat bombs by the fire. <laughs> I got the dark chocolate orange, which I think was one of my favorites out of the bunch. Besides the Reese's egg, which is garbage. Chocolate peanut butter. So good. And these truffle cups turn out super mm. good. I really wish I could have orange sponge candy, but this is. A good replacement. I think if you blindfolded someone and gave them some of this, some of them was a Reese cup, they wouldn't question it. Just enjoying the fire. So we're sitting by the fire, having a drink, and I'm gonna have Quest sweet chili tortilla chips. Enjoying the night. The moon is full and the fire is hot. About ready for bed. This heater is nice. Warming up my toesies. They were a little cold. So nice in here. The lights. Charging all our stuff up. My phone's attached. Get nice and toasty before bed. It's coffee time. And we woke up and it was warmer than it when we went to bed. That's the best. Yeah, it's almost 60 already. And it's 9 a.m. We didn't have any mochas yesterday. So now we're having some mochas with some extra medagliadoro. We brought real mugs this time. Real mugs and creamer and everything all. Heavy cream. Car camping is glamorous. So good. Check the temperature. Mmm. Hot chocolate and espresso. I think I want more espresso. Of course you do. <laughs> mm. Mine's perfect. Show them your mug. My mom got this Shit. for me. Pandemic gifts getting sent <laughs> off Amazon. <laughs> Uh, we'll be back when uh, we cook up breakfast, which will be soon. Enjoy this in the sunshine. Hey, it's on to breakfast. It's gonna be a little oh, <laughs> it's gonna be a little involved, but we got biscuits. I'm gonna start by cutting and buttering my keto biscuits. Oh, the I added cheddar this time and folded it in as I was doing the folding process. Turned out super good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cook the eggs in here. Can we crank that up? Yeah, turn that as low as you can get it because I don't want, mm -hmm. I want sunny side up so I want the eggs, the whites cooked but not the yolks. Because we don't have a lid to do basted which is what I usually do at home. I just put like an ice cube in there and cover it and it just cooks the top real nice. Nice and soft. It's gonna be so good. I can't wait to eat this. One of the best things we've ever made. Yeah. They're so soft and fluffy. Oh my gosh. Here's my sausage gravy. The recipe will be below because I actually measured. <laughs> Amounts and everything. Probably should. Oh. We might need some extra cream just to get it going. Oh, you need it there? Yeah. When you, if you're reheating stuff like this, you always want to have a little barrier, a little extra liquid, just to not burn it if you're trying to rewarm it. And the cream will reduce as you're heating it up and it'll thicken again. There we go. Let 
that come up slowly. You're going to be in charge of keeping stirring that. Okay. Because I'm going to be watching the eggs. We're going to put some cheese on it too. Put some butter in with our eggs. Butter makes everything better. Try to do these without breaking the yolks. Try not to move it too much. You wanna boost up the flame for me a little bit? Oh, one of the eggs has a little hole in it. Salt and pepper on our eggs. So in this sausage gravy is just onions, sausage. I did a brown pork sausage from Butcher Box. Salt, pepper, a little crushed red, heavy cream. And then I used a little bit of arrowroot powder to thicken it up. Only a teaspoon, but I reduced the cream. It'll all be in the recipe. When you reduce cream, it gets thicker, so that almost makes your sauce for you. You move the egg whites around and get the contact with the pan and get the cooked stuff up. That'll cook your egg whites faster. That's if you're in a hurry and you want to eat. Otherwise, keep your temperature low. Your egg whites will cook and your egg yolks won't. Smooth can't cook to pair eggs in such a manner. Yeah, most of the time we just scramble them. Cause that's the easy way to go. <laughs> Shake them up in a nail jean and pour them in a pan. Yeah, we're just about there. All ready for some breakfast. Okay, so I'm going to take half that out. Put it in my mug. Remember, we have no plates. Yes, so we're finagling here. So we can both have a decent plate to eat out of. Finagle? Thought about this last night, but... Yeah, while well, I was trying to fall asleep, bed. but we slept awesome. I slept great. Okay, so put your biscuits in there. Now put your eggs on top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I'm going to be stuck. Oh, and your cheese. Sprinkle your oh, cheese oh, on. Cheese. And I am going to put my biscuits in here. Can you see that? So good. Yeah. And then I am gonna. Dang, that was some good gravy. Cheese on mine. I'm gonna pour my gravy right over all my biscuits. It's gonna be some good eating. So, cut right into that gooey egg. Man. So delicious. Mm-hmm. That is delicious. Gooey egg. Mm. Eat like kings while we're camping. Sasha's gravy is delicious. And that's what spurred me on to make my biscuits was that sausage gravy and I tried a biscuit recipe just on the fly real quick just kind of threw stuff together and it was okay but I'm like man I gotta make a good biscuit so we can have a proper biscuits and gravy dinner right and I got it and I was like first thing I made with my biscuit recipe was <laughs> Sasha's gravy and biscuits once I figured it out no. well we're gonna finish this up clean up and probably go for a hike so we decided to pack up the van and head to another trail area and we wanted to check out some other different campsites that were around this area. We're going to go up this trail. My boyfriend's got the pack with our hammocks in it so that we can maybe check out some hammock trees and chill out in the sun. I got to have a zip phase when we get there. Yeah, it is. Squishy. Oh, that was a weird noise. Crazy. I've never walked somewhere where there's like water that's threatening to spill over. Wow.
beavers. All these were cut down by beavers. That one started coming down when it got stuck. Beavers were probably like, damn it. Worked on that for so long. Chewing up this tree for months. We realized that it got stuck in this tree, so we started chewing that one. Right. Sitting by a oh, lake, pond, marsh. marsh. <laughs> sanctuary. Gonna have a dip fizz because I'm definitely <clears throat> dehydrated and thirsty. Very, very. So we have like 32 ounces of water here and it'll still taste delicious. Put in. I don't like to shake mine too much so I like there to be some fizz later. Whew, my hair's a mess. Walking through the woods getting caught on stuff. <laughs> Snipe back. <sighs> 32 ounces of water and it's still delicious. I wanted to show you guys, if you're caught and you just need something, I mean, our local gas station at the res, the re on the reservation, had these garlic meat sticks. And they're one gram of carbs for one stick. And it's very simple ingredients. Beef, pork, salt, dextrose, which all cured meats have. And less than 2% of spices, which includes sugar. So... Good alternative if you're on the road and you need to stop somewhere and get something. A lot of, not like popular ga gas stations, ones that have like local stuff. There's like a lot of like little tiny gas stations that are like owned by people around small there. Small towns. Small and towns stuff. and stuff. They a lot of times have like small business like products. And that's what this place had. I even saw, we know the guy that has a spice rub company he has jerky and he has jerky being sold there so it's like you know small town local stuff good way to find some stuff that you can eat on keto brought it just in case but we're still not hungry we're just gonna drink our zip fizz no we might have i might have a granola bar or something when we get back to the van but that's probably about it for eating today yeah before we go home Hope you guys enjoyed coming along on our keto camping trip in our camper van hope you got some ideas for your next keto camping trip and as always I'll be back with many more keto dessert recipes. Bye guys. Bye.